guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Devin. And on this channel, we talk about all things plants. And in today's video, we are going to be creating three different plant pot DIYs. Finding cute pots can be really hard and also they can be kind of expensive sometimes. So I'm hoping to share some fun projects with you guys so you can get the look for less and have fun while doing it. So without further ado, let's just get on into project number one. Before I forget, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you're notified every time that I upload a video. And yeah, let's just get on into it. For DIY number one, we're gonna be creating this cute little hand-drawn rainbow pot. The supplies you'll need is a paintbrush, chalk paint, and a Sharpie. All right, the first step in this project is just painting the bottom half of this terracotta pot. I had this pot previously but I was not a big fan of the glaze blue, so I'm just taking this white chalk paint and painting over it and trying to paint the paint strokes in the right direction because chalk paint can be kind of streaky, so just keep that in mind when you're using it. I also use chalk paint because it adheres better and it has a nice matte finish. So after I let this dry, I took my Sharpie and started practicing the rainbow shapes that I wanted to create. And then once I was satisfied with the thin lines, I just began drawing on my pot and judging where I wanted to place each one. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you. Something about you I like, about you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like I get too drunk For DIY project number two, I'm going to be making a modern abstract painted pot. I couldn't think of a better name for it. The supplies you'll need is a paintbrush, chalk paint, and a Sharpie. I started out by painting the white chalk paint on the inside a little bit so when you put your plant in, you could still see the white and not the terracotta pot. And I also carried the white over the lip to create a tiny little border around the top of the pot. I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and Here I'm just cleaning up the lines a little bit and planning out my design that I want to create. I used this inspo picture to base my designs off of and just kind of freehanded it and made my way around the pot. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you, something about you I like. About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie This is where I decided that I was going to paint the base that it sits in white. Be many nights I got too high and almost left town. But there's something about you, something about you I like. So 
So here I'm just taking my Sharpie and drawing rectangular shapes over the white paint rectangles that I did previously, but making sure I offset it a little bit. So I'm just going every other rectangular shape, but as you'll see further in the video, I decided that it looks best with every single outline to every white rectangle, if that makes sense. About you, I, lie. I get too drunk and too scared and So for our third DIY, I'm going to be taking this IKEA basket and transforming it into a plant stand with legs. So the supplies you'll need is chalk paint, small paintbrush, yarn, scissors, and a needle. The first step in this DIY is painting on your design. I got my design inspiration from this picture, so I'm just kind of freehanding it and making little squares and adding two squares on each side. So you want to make sure that you're doing your square pattern in odd numbers. So I start off with one, three, five, up to seven, back down to five, three, and then one. And I repeated this pattern all the way across the basket. Did you ever stop and think, why well, spend too much time just getting ready? I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking For this next part, I am taking my black yarn and threading it through my needle. My needle is a pretty big needle and, and it's pretty dull at the end, so make sure you're being careful with that. And I'm just pushing it through the back side of the basket and tying a knot on the end of it so you don't pull the string all the way through. Then I am making this plus design by doing three times over each direction, top and bottom and left to right, if that makes sense, so it has a thick, bold appearance. I don't know what I could say to convince you to hang around when you don't have to. There's so much that I'm still keeping to myself cause you don't listen, babe. But still you got me missing you. When I see you, my heart starts racing but i don't know if i like this chasing and playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me but this time this time actually found this stool at the thrift store and it was like a little kid's stool that said Bobby on it or something like that but I really like the legs on it so I'm just disassembling it oh, oh, no, no. I don't know what I could say to convince you to hang around when you don't have to there's so much that I'm still keeping to myself cause you don't My heart starts racing, 
But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love Oh, nah, 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 nah Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love Oh, nah, nah. Legs kind of have a shiny finish, so I'm just taking some sandpaper and sanding them down. There is a big difference in the before and after. So here's where the project kind of stumped me a little bit. I cut up this piece of wood to fit on the inside of my basket and I'm marking out where I want the four legs to be. And then there came the problem of trying to figure out how to attach them without seeing the board and putting the board on the inside. So I figured out that I needed something to hold it up from the inside. So I put the board on there and use my cat food box. You could also use something like a paint can or something cylinder to fit inside of the basket to hold it up to be able to drill the legs down on top of the piece of wood on the inside. I actually went off camera for the next part because it took me a lot of times to figure out how to get the legs to stand up straight and make it look good and I ended up liking the three legs better. It balanced better than the four legs so that's what I ended up with and as you can see I drilled a million holes in it just to try to figure out the right position. Next I just decided to paint the legs white and after they dried I sanded them a little bit to kind of have a bit of a distressed look to them. guys that's it for this video thank you for watching and again don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment i love reading your guys comments and you know creating a plant friendly community i'll see you guys in the next one bye